Hello, this is Victor at historymercedes.com. This video is for David in California. <clears throat> and here we have a combination of e gas, uh, not e gas, TLLR module and throttle body from E320. This is a non SR setup. So I just want to show you the situation inside the throttle and what I find wrong with this combination. Okay, so inside the throttle body, as you can clearly see, wires, they started to deteriorate. You can see insulation is flaking off. The one on the motor over there, on the bottom there, the green one. So once I touch these wires, they're going to just fall apart right away. So they have to be done regardless. Let me show you real quick what I mean. So let's take a... Uh, a small screwdriver and as you can see a second I touch the wire insulation just I'm not forcing it it's just just barely touching it it flakes right off so this is a problem <clears throat> that has to be repaired so that's what I'm going to do a second issue here th is the um, the module itself now with the throttle body I actually had it connected to my good module just to see because I had some some time on the bench I wanted to see if the coil is alive and this throttle still activates it still works I don't know if the wire is short badly inside or not but you saw the condition inside so obviously they have to be done um, and I don't know if the wire is shorted to a point that they burn up the module now these modules I don't have a connect connector to um, test them on the fly like plug in plug out so I solder my points to it so this is just the power and this is your throttle connection so we're going to put the power on and as you can see nothing is happening with the throttle body <coughs> Took the cover off just to see if there's any kind of apparent burn spots and i didn't find any um last computer i did and it was these two and uh, there's another mod there are other chips underneath that were not good so you can hear how a relay tries to activate it you can see i'm putting power on and off so And the throttle wants to move a little bit. I don't know if you can catch that on camera, but it's not moving. It just like, uh, it feels like the clutch coil activates. Yeah, you can't, you cannot show it on the camera. It's just very, very faint, but it is there. It's like it tries to activate. I think the coil activates for a brief second and the rest just shuts off. So I'm going to take a look at this module real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because it can sp I can spend days on fixing it and uh, finding chips and maybe even weeks. So it's not, not really worth it. But clearly it isn't working. <clears throat> Computer and the wires. These are two things that need to be addressed. So for now, I'm going to rewire the unit first. Okay, so it's all going to be nicely rewired because I don't want to burn my computer if by any means the shorting cables burnt out original computer, which is this piece. Um, so therefore, I don't want to um, burn, burn my, um, my computer, my control module. So first I'm going to rewire the throttle body and then I see what I will do, how I'm going to deal with this unit because like I said, Everything is soldered into it, so I'll try to figure this out. If I cannot do it within like a couple of hours, and that's it, this computer is basically not going to be repaired. Okay? All right, so this is all right now. This is a quick update for David in California. And this is Victor at HistoryMercedes.com. Thank you for watching.